It happened on the northbound 710 behind me, Alex and Christine, 4.30 in the morning. Morning. It's not clear where the carload of people came from or where they were headed, but we know that two 15-year-olds, a boy and a girl from Long Beach, are among the dead. The grisly images from Sky Fox tell the devastating story. One car, six passengers, five dead, one survivor fighting for their life. The smoke is in my face, um, and then I just... Uh, like, I just grabbed my phone and I, I called 911. This woman, who did not want to be identified, provided us with her dash cam video. She was behind the victims as their 12 year old Hyundai Sonata hit the crash barrier at the 71091 split and flipped, catching fire. He passed me, he ended up hitting the divider and he ended up flipping, and I saw the fire start. Immediately after that, I grabbed my phone and I called 911. Um, just letting them know that the accident happened. Um, if they needed paramedics, I said yes. The car flipped. It looks like they're going to need help. After calling 911, she called her boyfriend. She gave me that phone call. Her voice was just frightened, shaking, and shaking up. And you know, um, it was just tragic to see the video after what happened. It could have went uh, wrong in a lot of other ways with her as well. The witness we spoke with said the driver was speeding. CHP investigators have not discussed what they've learned, only asking if others who saw what happened come forward. 4.30 a.m. with a northbound 710 and the 91 split. Only one vehicle is involved. Of course, we ask that all witnesses to this crash come forward, um, but at this time, it's determined to be one vehicle only. Of course, that crash barrier, we're familiar with those at gore points and transitions. Those are designed to absorb the impact of a vehicle, but it was no doubt traveling at high speed to cause that type of devastation. George Dobbs and Araya Slemacher, both 15, both from Long Beach, the names released by the L.A. County coroner. The other three, they have not yet notified the next of kin, and there was one person hospitalized with major injuries.